Good morning, Lyndon. Excited to be over in this area. So I'm gonna be your general manager, Lara. Please come see me as often as you can. Um, when we finally open our doors for the first time, you're gonna be able to go inside and meet the incredible team we've built here together um, just for your new store. I really wanna thank everybody for their support and being here with us today. It's been a long journey and I really wanna thank my parents, Joe and Kathy, my fiance, Naima, and my daughter, Brooklyn, for putting up with all the craziness that's been going on. At Wawa, we're committed to spreading positivity and kindness. You can see that and feel that every time you walk in. If you turn around, usually somebody's holding the door for you. It's just something you'll see, it's a small gesture, but it makes a very big impact in the community. We are honored today to have the New York Red Bulls alumni, Bradley Wright Phillips and the New York Red Bulls freestyle crew. Yep, let's give it up for them. Um, we're gonna be, he's gonna be helping you do the honors of holding the door and welcoming you guys for the first time for any size free coffee, help yourself to coffee and whatever other snacks or items you might wanna pick up. Bradley played for the New York Red Bulls from 2013 to, to 2019 and is one of the most decorated Red Bull players. During his time with the Red Bulls, he made 195 regular season appearances while scoring 108 goals. It's the most in club history. Today he's gonna to be making history once again by opening the doors to this new Linden Wawa for the very first time. We're gonna kick off a ceremonial toast and ribbon cutting at 8.30, so make sure you get your coffee, your hoagies, t-shirt, and head right back out here to join us. We're gonna count down from 10. Can we count down together? Yeah. So we got 10, nine, nine eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Wawa! My name is Michael Feldman and I drove all the way from Morristown, New Jersey to open up this Wawa in Linden today. This is my fifth opening and just thrilled to welcome Wawa to Linden. Linden has so much to offer and this is certainly the crown jewel of the town now with the Walmart, the Wawa, you got everything here in this town. So this has been a phenomenal opening, so overall great day. I'm the area manager for the new store here in Linden. I'm delighted to welcome you to our newest store here in Linden, New Jersey. Thank you, Wally. Thank you. Thank you. When our first convenience store opened in April 1964 in Folsom, PA, our founder, Graham Wood, envisioned a business built on people, not just profits. Since day one and over a thousand stores later, our 45,000 associates are committed to fulfilling lives every day. Some people might wonder how a convenience store has a purpose of fulfilling lives. For us, the answer is simple. It's because of our people, and it plays out thousands and thousands of times every day. Simple gestures like morning chatter that help restart a customer's rough morning, to a team throwing a birthday party for a regular customer, to the ultimate commitment of an associate visiting a longtime customer in the hospital to bring them their favorite soup. It's because of these small acts of kindness that we like to think of ourselves as a kindness chain rather than a convenience chain. 
Starting today, you can count on our associates to brighten your days with free any size coffee for customers all day long. This new store is the 38th of 76 new stores to open this year across our chain. We could not have opened this beautiful new store without the state and local officials and community leaders who have provided us the opportunity to continue to grow and invest in the community. Today, we are honored to have Mayor Derek Armstead here with us. Uh, Mayor, are you here? Do you have a few words? Good morning, everyone. Well, in the words of a great detractor on Facebook, he, we have Wawa in this city, that city, every other city, and they said, what do we have in Linden? They said, Derek Armstead. It was supposed to be an insult, I guess, but, but guess what? Now we have Derek Armstead and a Wawa. How about that? So, and the good news is this, there's, a, there's plans for another Wawa right down the road at Legacy Square. So we're going to try to work through all that. But we're delighted to have you here. Uh, we know that Wawa makes a great sandwich. They make great coffee. And I'm certainly going to enjoy my cup this morning. Well, my, is this a cup or this is a, like a gallon jug almost here, 20, 20 ounces. But uh, anyway, please come and support Wawa uh, as we ask you all to support this great city and it is a great city. They couldn't have picked a better location. I know there were a lot of um, uh, pitfalls, ups and downs, and delays here, but we're finally open, and, uh, and I'm confident that they're gonna do well here in Linden, as, uh, as we all do well here in Linden. I don't know whether that's because of the mayor or because of you. I'll take it because of you guys. Thank you all for coming out, uh, and enjoy. Thank you, Mayor. We'd also like to acknowledge Chief David Hart, this, the Linden Police Department, Chief William Hasco, the Fire Department, <laughs> Captain Christopher Gunther, Councilman Barry Javik, Councilman John Roman, uh, LEDC and SID Chairman Felipe Cabezas, Linden Chamber of Commerce President Janet Miller, <laughs> Planning Board Vice Chairman Armand Fiorletti, Councilwoman Christine Hudak, and our developers Richard Dreyer and Erica Reed. I'd now like to introduce our general manager, Lara Cribb. So, thank you guys. So, very excited to be here. I'm Lara. I want you all to come in as often as possible just to come see me. When we open our doors at a new store, we open our hearts and we help our community through in-store customer fundraising campaigns. And if you guys know me from the Elizabeth Wawa, I definitely kind of take that under my own belt. I enjoy it a lot, I like fundraising, I like participating in raising money for good causes. So we'll definitely be hyping it up here. Um, some of the national partners include the American Red Cross, Check Out Hunger, Children's Miracle Network, JDRF, LLS, Special Olympics, and the USO. Now through September, uh, September 3rd, you guys can visit and donate at any Wawa location. In addition to national support, the Wawa Foundation makes local donations to thousands of local charities doing great work in our neighborhoods. From its inception in 2014, the foundation has donated more than 125 million across the entire operating area. At every grand opening, we have a tradition of honoring first responders with our signature Hoagies for Heroes. Hoagie building competition where everyday heroes compete to set to see who could build the most hoagies in three minutes. Um, and the participating department is going to get a thousand dollar charity donation to whatever charity they choose. We've trained these everyday heroes today, actually, moments before in our delis, so it should be very interesting to see what happens. <laughs> um, the winning team is going to earn all important bragging rights as well as a very large trophy and their donations. So I'm going to just pass over the mic to Allison. Allison's going to get the Hoagies for Heroes Challenge started. The police department's donating to 
the National Ovarian Cancer Coalition, which is awesome. Fire Department, do you know who you're making your donation to? The Farmers Center. The Farmers Center. Two wonderful, wonderful organizations. So everyone's getting a thousand dollars just for being here today. But there will be only one person winning the all coveted trophy. Bradley, you want to give me a hand and do a countdown here? All right. Hands in the air, everybody. Hands in the air. Are we good? Everyone's ready. Give me a thumbs up if you're ready. Thumbs up. All right, Bradley, count us down. I'm finished with three. Okay. Two. One. Oh, that was Yeah, it's 25. Oh.